You're vlogging? Oh, just a little bit, bro. You look like you need it. You look like you need me to vlog. Come on in. It's Andy here and YouTuber David Dobrik is back with his vlogs in a four minute and 20 second video. As always, he did not address any of the controversies, any allegations. It looks like he's just trying to move past all this. But a lot of people are wondering, hmm, David, is this the right move? Is this the wrong move? A lot of thoughts here. So if you didn't know who David Dobrik is, he is a 24 year old YouTuber, podcaster, and co-founder of the super popular photography app called Dispo. He found early success on the app Vine before starting his YouTube channel in 2015. He became extremely famous for his mini vlogs where he films his friends pulling pranks, surprises, and more. Now, David's channel had roughly around 20 million subscribers before everything in the controversy had happened, but he also had recently bought a $9.5 million mansion. He posted a house tour and it was pretty crazy. And as many people know, the YouTuber had high profile partnerships with brands, including DoorDash, Bumble, and SeatGeek, which became a regular bit on his vlogs as David would give his friends cars. So David was one of the most beloved, iconic creators on YouTube at just 24 years old. And if you don't know what happened, here's what happened in a Sparknotes version. Now, David Dobrik's adored reputation all went down the drain beginning on March 16th when Business Insider published a report of a woman claiming to have been raped during the filming of one of David Dobrik's 2018 videos, which starred the vlog squad. Replaying everything that had happened that night, and yeah, definitely sexual assault. I will fight you on site. And this is one of many complaints and issues that actually came up throughout the entirety of this incident. Seth, one of the other Vlog Squad members, also talked about a sexual assault incident, and others chimed in about racist or not the best language used in David's vlogs. The things that you laugh at, the things that you create, are not here to benefit our community. All that being said, even more individuals started to speak up about their experiences with Dobrik. Vlog Squad member Nick Kaswani and YouTube star Trisha Paytas were among the group. And as you can see, David went from a very beloved YouTube star to canceled overnight. And it did take him a while, but he did address some of the controversies. I want them to have a positive experience when they're interacting with anything I produce. And with that being said, I feel like on a handful of occasions, I've just missed the mark on that. And that really, really bums me out. Fans didn't find this the best and he kind of glossed over the subject. But on March 16th, 2021, he made a short two minute video called Let's Talk. I've grown, you know, as a content creator and as a person, and I don't agree with some of the videos I've posted. Here he basically was like, I'm sorry, it won't happen again. I'm young and I've learned from my mistakes. And then he returned to his most recent apology on March 23rd, 2021. I've put myself in a lot of situations where I've needed to apologize for my past actions. And I've never done this correctly. And I've never done this respectfully. And my last video is a testament to that. I, I, I don't wanna defend that video. I don't wanna delete that video. I just wanna be clear. This is a two minute video late in the night and it did seem pretty sincere from a lot of fans. I had some mixed reviews again, but he said he was taking a break from social media until yesterday. He posted on Instagram a very smiley photo of himself in Hawaii with his caption, new vlogs every Tuesday. And it was a Tuesday, so there was a brand new vlog on his channel. And many thought this vlog would be addressing or at least talking about the controversy since it started, but there was no controversy in it. There was no discussion in it, not one bit. Just the same as the 639 vlogs before. Titled Surprising My Friends, the vlog includes most of the previous members of the vlog squad. Here he surprises his friends with a trip to Hawaii, which they all seem pretty excited about. On the trip, there are usual crazy montages, shock factors, and David Dobrik style content. His vlog concluded with a David Dobrik style message saying new vlogs every Tuesday. And no, again, not one message about the controversies and fans definitely had something to say about it. Some viewers reminded others about David's problematic past questioning why they are so happy with the creator being back as if nothing happened. Others are just happy to see his vlogs back on their feet again. So the timing of Trisha, David, people are wondering, is this planned? Is this too soon? You let us know what's trending for all of your thoughts and opinions. I obviously have mine. I think it's a little soon, personally. I think there's definitely some things that could be addressed, but you be the judge of everything. At What's Trending is where you can find us. For me, Andy Luani, I will see you soon.